All right, so now we're in a different part of Fiesta Plaza movie talk. Less energy, a little calm now. I mean, after the energy that happened downstairs, every Fantabulous artist needs to go upstairs and rest for a little bit. And then, of course, you have the media people following her and trying to get a little plug in. Hi, Nyla. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. So Fiesta Plaza was very happy to have you back here again. Now, you have your fans who've been following you from inception and then you have Fiesta Plaza being part of that so they got to experience you with just an acoustic guitar and now you with a full band this is the first time the band is performing here at Movie Town right? Yes definitely first time Soka hits the stage of Fiesta Plaza. That's crazy it is it is. I think the last two years for you have been a lot of things happening very fast as the artist and as an individual how have you been processing yourself through that because it's one after next everything coming fast. Well it's a a lot of hard work, um, a lot of sacrifices that are being made and they're paying off so I'm happy and I love what I do so I'm always motivated. I mean this is the first show of three gigs tonight so you know I'm, <laughs> I'm having to pace myself a little bit and the season is going headstrong. So much shows coming up, um, it's a, this is my busy season so I'm just taking my vitamins and praying <laughs> and praying. <laughs> Give thanks for that, at least that you have a lot of things coming in, and especially in just two years. Now, I like uh, during the performance, you spoke a lot about women empowerment and people just loving themselves and being uh, really comfortable in themselves. I really like how you touch back into, I don't want to call it old Nyla, but Nyla before Suka with the Barbie song. And then you have it incorporated in your band as well. Tell us what it's like working with Janine Ruiz. Now you have a lot of MDs in the industry and Janine is a female, of course, but she's incredible. Not only is she, she an incredible uh, guitarist, quattro, keyboard, uh, but now you have her as a producer. Well, she's a producer also and now an MD. What has that been like working with a female in a heavily male-dominated industry? Um, well, actually, when I thought of the idea of having the band and calling it so guys I said you know um, I don't want to deal with too many females because females are a little bit drama some but I need to have one female in this band to really center everybody you know and when she came to the band room before she even finished playing I said you're it <laughs> you're it and so said so done she's actually now the band manager not just a musical director oh, wow. so she's our band manager and she's super organized she's on top of everything so it's amazing working with her and i really think that she's the glue that keeps the band together because you know as a man there's always struggles and there's always trials and people and personalities and time schedules and it's just a lot and um the music you know the music is coming fast as well so um i think she keeps on top of everything and i absolutely love working with her she's positive and always full of ideas so that's great speaking of incredible team you have a huge team behind you who's working I think harder than you are <laughs> actually don't have a huge team I have a really? very small team actually yes I have two managers Lauren O'Connor and Anson Pro and Anson Pro is my producer as well he produces all my songs um, along with doing everything else um, and then we have an assistant and that's it small team but a lot of work a lot of work because yes. i mean if you know nyla and the Nyami would know if you're following nyla a long time the talent is there the skill is there literally in the dna but to get the kind of success that you've had within the last two years have to have a strong team back in you and it's good to know that it's not a big team but a hard working team. definitely i mean we have a lot of people that support us and help us that are um other members of the team you know my dj dancers this one that one um but really the core structure of people that make things happen that's it there and um, we have a lot of love in our team um, and we treat people good people treat us good and it, it's really how we keep the ball moving and we work hard we work sleepless nights countless countless sleepless <laughs> count last sleep last night but that's part of it that's how you become as successful as you are yes definitely one final question what is the one thing you underestimated about the process um, how much patience it would take. It takes a lot of patience. I always thought that sewing teaches you patience because I sewed um, growing up. Uh, but now I realize that being an artist is where you really learn to have patience with everything else because everything is a process and nothing happens overnight. Um, and there's a lot of work that is put into this job. I learn a lot of things. You have to do a lot of things you don't want to do um, and you have to wait to see the rewards. And that just takes patience and I underestimated 
how much patience it takes. Yeah. Right, well, I got it just from uh, Nyla's mouth. So everybody on the outside who think it's just like that, the magic is happening. Nah, it's a lot of work, a lot of strong and hardworking team, and a lot of patience. And if you uh, follow that recipe, you'll be just as successful as Nyla Blackman and Soka. Congratulations again, and all the best for the rest of 2019 and beyond, and beyond, and beyond. <laughs>